today's pretty exciting day. It's the day that I'm going to start my harvest of some of the things that we planted a while ago and it seems to have taken forever. And for those of you that are new to the channel, my name's Denny. I'm from a lifestyle channel based in North Queensland, Gone Tropo, and we do a bit of this, bit of that. And at the moment we're doing stuff around the house. So <laughs> today is a time where a beginner gardener basically gets to pick some of the produce. I'll take you back through some of the effort that's gone to to get to this point. It's been pretty exciting. Hasn't really been that much work um, once we got going. There were a few things that definitely weren't in the brochure. Some things that didn't work that turned out were in shade or didn't, didn't necessarily work. But the things that did do really well, boy, have they done really well. Let's have a look at how we started and then we'll get to the harvest and see how we turned out. things I've learned once you start getting into gardening um, so you end up with all these pots and you kind of loathe to throw them all away because you think you'll reuse them but we haven't even done that much in the way of gardening I reckon and Jesus heaps of them already ago we put in our lovely little garden alongside here for veggies and herbs and luckily because the herbs are cranky I've got one basil plant and as you can tell it's nearly as tall as me it's a little bit higher off the ground because it's in the garden bed but it's pretty close it's probably easily one and a half meters tall I don't think basil is supposed to get that big but it smells amazing and I thought you know what, I really need to start harvesting some of the stuff here and really enjoy the herbs that we're growing and making some yummy dishes with it or at least trying to conserve. So yeah, let's harvest some basil. The chilies I'm really excited for. It took months and months to grow. It seemed to be that they were flowering forever and never going to produce any chilies. However, the chilli started about three weeks ago and then this morning we got one chilli starting to turn red, which is fantastic. The thing that's not so fantastic about it is that the bottom of it's been eaten. So I'll have to keep an eye on that and find out like, if we need to just pick them as green chilies or whether or not we'll actually ever get red chilies. Looking in the plant, there does seem to be some little moss kicking around. So. That's not especially great. The heirloom chilli is beautiful. Uh, we've got some nice little chilies growing. I'm sure heirloom is probably not necessarily the type of chilli, but more so the fact that it hasn't been changed much over the years. It's probably similar to grandma's chilli. What type of chilli it is, I'm not sure. They're still green. They, they start a little bit later than the other chilies. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be trimmed this big. So like I said, I'm sure it's supposed to have been trimmed way before now. But they all smell good still. I'm sure they're good to use. I've looked up a couple of things that we can do with basil. One thing is apparently it freezes quite well. Um, some people blend them up with some olive oil and put them in little ice cube trays and pop them in the freezer that way. However, there's some people out there that say that freeze is quite fine whether you coat them in olive oil or not and seal them airtight in sandwich Ziploc bags. So we'll give that a whirl. But my favorite thing that I'm looking forward to is making a pesto sauce 
for lunch. <laughs> we do have some pine nuts, some oil, some lemons, and plenty of basil. So let's give that a try for lunch. I think I'll give that a whirl tomorrow. This is a cucumber vine, and I didn't realize it was gonna be so, so big. You can see it's pulling apart the fence up there. Nice big, I don't even know how big that is. I'm guessing it's ready to pick. I wonder if you have to have scissors. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going. <laughs> it's all the rage now on YouTube. Check it out. <laughs> Just need a bikini. <laughs> uh, funny. All right, I'm gonna, what do you reckon? It looks pretty, oh, it's prickly, ow. These things have got spiny things on them. Do you reckon that's good to go? Must be, eh? Wow, that's huge. That's what she said. <laughs> ow, ow, I'm getting spines in my fingers. Look at this one. The cucumbers have grown over the last couple of weeks. <sighs> Got any hanging? Or are they all? Oh look, there's one there. There's plenty of flowers on here, but not heaps of cucumbers. I think that's solid for the next few days. <laughs> These ones here, a habaneros. Look pretty good. And they're supposed to be yellow. That one's perfect. They look like um, plastic. They're that good. Very good looking. These are the chilies that we replanted out of one of the store bought chilies from the seeds. Yeah. There's a couple at the back there, are they any good? It's like a forest in there. So those ones have taken off. Come to help, have you? Just washing my mint. <laughs> what else we got going? Alright, got uh, that's time I think. And our shallots are a bit average looking. They're all right, they'll do. I think when we've got to use, oh, that one there's cranking. Yes, sh shallots are doable. Lemongrass is cranking. I reckon we might do a dish with some lemongrass, chili, and the kaffir lime. We'll get a nice little dish going at some point. Okay, so Lee's got some more jalapenos on the go. He's just playing them over the last couple of days. See what happens with those. This is our little harvest for today. It's not much, but it's handy because, well, I don't know what the cucumbers are going to be like. Might have to try a cucumber, but I'm pretty confident that the chilies are going to be really good. No more store-bought chilies. I reckon that's going to be the way of the future now for us. All right, let's go and try some cucumber. Turns out these cucumbers are fantastic. Now this really big one, well, it was really big when we picked it, was a little bit bitter on the skin. We ended up just peeling the skin fairly evenly, if you like, and just getting away from that bitterness. And we've used it in a ton of salads over the weekend, it's been fantastic. Now, the question regarding cucumbers and them being prickly, I think, is there a saying about being a prickly cucumber? Maybe it's a prickly cactus. I don't know, anyway, but it was prickly and apparently that's normal on cucumbers. I wouldn't have thought. When you buy them in the shops, a machine or person has already gone through and rubbed out the the prickles, some of them have been modified and grown to not have any prickles. And in our case, all we did was um, grab the clean 
Scourin just gave it a light scene and a rinse and they're honky dory. So there you go. Cucumbers are pretty good. Will I continue to grow cucumbers? I don't think so because they take up so much real estate. I think I would rather try and have the opportunity to grow a few different things in the garden bed than just one big massive cucumber vine. But if I had plenty of space, I would definitely include cucumbers in my garden. So for now we've got a fair few cucumbers to get through over the next month or two or however long cucumbers last for. It's coming into winter in the next three months, it's autumn at the moment. So um, I didn't really pay attention to what time of the year these things should be planted because <laughs> I figured like it's always hot up here in North Queensland but I guess the degrees are hot and different. All right, well, let's call it a quits there. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate your support. It's been fantastic if you've been able to torture yourself and watch you all the way through. Thank you. Got another video coming out soon of some projects that we're doing around the house. As soon as that's out, they'll be linked here. Alrighty. Let's call it a day. Thanks so much. Bye.